In the 25 years since the LA civil unrest, a pivotal moment in our history, we've made progress, but of pain, it's become painfully clear that we still have a long, long way to go. We still face some of the same issues, disparities in housing and healthcare, lack of economic and educational opportunities, violence and crime, distrust and antagonism between the community and law enforcement. Universities today, including USC, have the moral imperative to use their expertise and knowledge to help solve society's wicked problems. The Price School has a strong commitment to promoting trust, open dialogue, and collaboration between communities and the institutions that serve them. The Price School is also itself very proud of Sol Price legacy in its commitment to diversity, inclusion, access, and equity. We try to practice, in other words, what we research and what we preach. We believe it is vital in focusing on not only our faculty and staff being culturally competent, but also training our students to be that way in the various professions that they enter. Today, of course, uh, takes stock of the 25th anniversary of the uprising. Um, a seminal moment for Los Angeles that did ignite a national conversation about race, equity, and justice within our communities. The civil unrest, of course, was sparked by the acquittal of three Los Angeles police officers involved in the beating of Rodney King, but the tensions that led to that moment in those three days of violence had been simmering for years. Poverty, unemployment, violence, health disparities, injustice in the criminal justice system, um, concentrated in low-income urban communities, all served as kindling for the fire that erupted in 1992. Even in the years that followed the civil unrest, communities in Los Angeles remained segmented and isolated by racial and ethnic barriers, competing for resources and battling over contested spaces within the city. Now, 25 years after the civil unrest, Los Angeles is moving forward toward a vision for a shared destiny in which Angelinos work together to support programs and policies that benefit the region as a whole rather than specific populations. What happened in 92 is a huge event uh, not only for LA or California, but really for the nation. We really wanted to learn and look to the future. Also to reclaim missing narratives, narratives that weren't given attention in mainstream media. Arts and culture have been key to rebuilding the city the last 25 years. Of course, there is still significant work to be done to realize the vision of a just and inclusive future in Los Angeles. But we believe we are in a better place than we were in 1992. There's been demographic changes, improved race relations, arts and culture played roles. There's been new innovative policy models, the use of tools like community organizing, the provision of local data to empower communities. They clearly have played a role in, a, in our evolving landscape of the city.